Hi everyone, this is Alexander Ansipov and in this video I am going to show how to display in mobile application list of items and perform create, update and treat operation for these items. So first let's create new Ionic 4 application with name list details app. On the first step we have to import API plugin list details. As you see two screens were imported, the first screen is a list which is displayed the list of the items and the second screen is the details which display the item details and also the screen is used for creating and updating new items. Let's update default routing from screen 1 to list and test our application. Application is ready and now let's test it. So what we can do? First we can see the details of the selected item. Let's press on item with name name 1. And here we see details, name and description. Let's go back. Also we are able to perform modification item. So let's provide a new name and a new description. Also we can remove item. Let's do it. And add new item. So as you can see, uh, this is pretty standard. Uh, list details application. Now let's take a look how this application works. And let's start from list screen. Open event panel and here we see that there is one event after page showing which run TypeScript. And everything what this TypeScript does invoke list service with prefix DB collection, so this is a variable, and now let's go to the variable. Tab. And here we see that uh, the value of this prefix is test. So as you already guess, test is a prefix of services from the test folder for create service, delete service, list service, and update service. And also here we see items variable where our items are stored. Now let's go to functions tab and here we see two function remove which remove selected item so item is passed as a parameter and go which process update and create new and read operations. Everything what this method does just navigate to detail screen. Now let's go to details screen and open event panel here. So uh, we see event uh, on page create. Let's open it and here we just take past parameters and then let's open event of save button click event. This button is responsible for creating new and updating item. Now uh, let's take a look how we can integrate this application with database. For that let's open database and create new database with name list details db. Then let's create collection with name items and let's add column first column will be name and second column will be description now let's go to the application and add integration with database so press create new then database service select list details db and then import create update delete and list operations so here we see that uh, these services has the same format as our test services but with different prefix let's open list screen go to the variable and update test on list details db so this is the name of db then underscore and then 
name of collection items. And now let's test our application. We don't see any items and uh, it is logical because our collection is empty. Let's create our first item. Provide name, item 1 and description, description 1. So now let's go to database. And here we see that items was added. Then we can add second item, item 2. Can update item. Delete it. So as you can see, everything works properly. And last, let's consider situation when we need to change the main fields from the name to something different and for example add new column. So let's go to our database and uh, add new column with name key. And now this column will be used uh, in the list. yeah. And also add, uh, let's add this uh, key column on the screen. So let's go to our application. Just open design of uh, list screen and here change name to key. Then let's go to details screen. Let's clone the first element and provide label and also let's change ng model from item name to key and let's test we see the list with keys and now let's add new item with key key to name name to description so and here we see that uh, the new logic works properly uh, that is all what I wanted to show in this video. If you like it, please subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments.